So we'll start off by humming together, gathered here. Uh, for if anyone's here for the first time, maybe um, no. Okay, so you know that we're we're humming rather than singing here, um, but still getting a lot uh, of nourishment from doing that together. So let's join in, gathered here. Matov Uma Nayim Shevetachingum Yachat. Those words may be familiar to you from the wonderful Jewish traditional song. Uh, and they mean simply how good, how lovely it is when people can, can dwell together, can sit together in peace. And uh, yeah, that song's been on my heart, wondering about having it with us one of these nights uh, since the first one, just because, yeah, it's so special these days to be together in community, particularly, any connections, but this this is just taking on so much more meaning, um, coming bodily together. Um, so tonight, you don't have to learn those words if you don't know them, because um, we'll just hum the melody and if you know it already please join me and if you don't you'll pick it up pretty quickly because you won't be worrying about learning new words here's just how it goes for us a little so I want to invite us to do that again but uh, let's take it uh, let's do a twofer and let's uh, rise as we hum this time and also greet each other with our eyes uh, while we're singing take a chance to really soak it how good and how lovely it is to be together here peacefully on this beautiful Vermont evening so that means for me at least, when I hear that invitation, oh yeah, I'm going to turn my body, I'm going to look in all directions, I'll look behind me. So here we go.
thank you all. Mm. Have your seats. Welcome for those who've just joined. Uh, for, the, for those who just walked in, just curious, is this your first time by any chance? Okay, welcome. So glad you're here for this Vesters and welcome to everyone. Um, you noticed that we were humming, so that's one of the things we're doing differently uh, as a way to still enjoy the experience of, you know, vibrating, phonating our bodies together without um, opening our mouths and projecting too much. Um, so just a, a way to stay extra, extra cautious here. Um, yeah, welcome all to third beautiful Vespers service. Um, so, so grateful to be. I was telling a few of the folks we were out doing the vigil that you guys have been doing since, gosh, how many years? Three years, three years, pretty much every Wednesday uh, at five o'clock, in case you don't know about that. Um, that's an opportunity, and right now they're all Black Lives Matter vigils. Uh, and I was just saying to them how sweet I was feeling driving into town, like looking forward to being in community together tonight. It's really, it's, it's amazing how quickly you can kind of create, I mean, it's already exists here at, at this UU here in town, but you know, a, a new little space and, and the sweetness when we show up with open hearts. Yeah, and, and welcome uh, to all, whatever your background, whatever your uh, faith, your identity, you're welcome here. That's who we are. That's the world we're trying to build. Um, this is the world in which we say Black Lives Matter. The world in which we honor that we are on the unceded land of Abenaki people. And I was thinking about also in terms of these services, um, you know, one of my, I think, the things we've got going for us the best in terms of our UU values and principles, at least that I love the most, is that we, we know that at our best, or maybe I should say at our, our heart would be more accurate, that we ourselves are the message. We believe in, in us. We believe in the goodness of, of humanity and the gift that each individual is. But we, you know, but we also recognize there's a lot that gets in the way. There are a lot of obstacles, there are a lot of things that can take us off path. But that it's really coming home to our truest self that we trust is really the best medicine, actually, that we can offer the world. That's the, one of the ways I interpret and experience our message, at least. So just, I really um, want to offer that renewing quality of this time as a time to return to truest self, which, you know, we really each believe is inherently just just right. So, um, yeah, with that said, um, part of the way I come home to self is in my relationship with not only others, uh, human, but others more than human, including land. Um, I've been appreciating being out here on the land that we've taken some time to arrive in that way, really connect with where we are. So I wanted to just suggest we might again do that simple um, body prayer that we did last week. Uh, earth my body, water my blood, uh, air my breath, and fire my spirit. And, um, and stand again and make this our greeting and humming um, now to where we are. So take it as an opportunity to take in the beautiful flowers that Peggy has brought us for our, our altar table and take the opportunity to take in the garden and the trees and, um, and the earth itself. Um, so I'm going to rely on folks remembering this from last week to lead us. Um, and I'll be up here leading as well. Um, but uh, if you're new, feel free to just watch the first round or two. And I again encourage you to not feel that you have to be in just focused in one direction. It can be nice to, to turn in a different direction and do the movement. So, um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll just uh, have us jump right in. Please rise if you're willing and able. 
Uh, I'll remind you it's going to go down, feeling up. Really take that, take that opportunity to actually touch and care for your body and feel your blood. Uh, and here, out, that air my breath. And then fire, oh fire, my spirit. Earth my body, water my blood, air my breath, fire, oh fire, my spirit. Let's hum together. Join me in the chalice sliding words. We kindle this chalice flame to remind ourselves of the light of truth, the warmth of community, and the fire of commitment. So I have a opening call to worship home. on that theme of the goodness in each of us, just as we are. This is by Gerard Manley Hopkins, and it's called As Kingfishers Catch Fire. As kingfishers catch fire, dragonflies draw flame. As tumbled over rim in roundy wells, stones ring like each tucked string tells, each hung bell's bow swung finds tongue to fling out its broad name. Each mortal thing does one thing and the same, deals out that bean indoors each one dwells. Selves goes itself, myself it speaks and spells, crying what I do is me, for that I came. As kingfisher, kingfishers catch fire, dragonflies draw flame. As tumbled over rim in roundy wells, stones ring 
like each tucked string tells, each hung bell's bow swung finds tongue to fling out its broad name. Each mortal thing does one thing and the same, deals out that being indoors each one dwells, deals out that being indoors each one dwells, sells goes itself, myself it speaks and spells, crying what I do is me, for that I came. So. We're going to transition now into our gratitude, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it back. I thought it went really well last week, um, but I'm going to add a twist. Um, yeah, we, we, we didn't chat about this, but you're, you're ready to, to bring us some rhythm, yeah? <laughs> we have such a musical service, so many things to go over. Um, so yes, oh, that's the Oh We Give Thanks by Wendy Pua. And I liked how we fell into it with the a, with a echoing after. Oh, we give thanks. Oh, we give thanks for this day. For this day. Those gathered here. Those gathered here. And far away. And far away. For time we share. For time we share. With love and care. With love and care. Oh, we give thanks. Oh, we give thanks. For this day. All right. So just because I like to have fun uh, in giving thanks. I think that's part of the fun. I thought, well, let's, let's bring another one of those ways that we give thanks and, and chant it instead. So here's what I got for you. For all that is our life, we say our thanks and praise. Just listen. For all life is a gift, which we are called to use to build the common good and make our own days glad. We come with praise and thanks for all that is our life. So raise your hand if you're like, yeah, actually, I think I know that song pretty well. I don't think it'd be too hard for me to chant those lyrics. All right, raise your hand high. All right, you guys are my crew for this, okay? <laughs> so let's just practice with some repetition just to remember uh, first. And everybody can join in, but, but I'm going to go to these for my leaders. All right, so here's how it goes. For all that is our life, now everyone, for all that is our life, we sing our thanks and praise, we sing our thanks and praise, for all life is a gift, for all life is a gift, which we are called to use, which we are called to use, to build the common good, to build the common good, and make our own days glad. We come with praise and thanks. We come with praise and thanks. For all that is our life. For all that is our life. All right. So my, my leaders, everybody who thinks they can join in, join in. But my leaders, we're going to try and just do it all together, okay? And then I'm going to bring everybody else in with a, oh, we give thanks. In fact, anybody out there feel like they know it well enough that they want to get on the mic doing it? Mic check, mic check. All right. Just thought I'd test. All right, so here we go. For all that is our life, we sing our thanks and praise. For all life is a gift, which we are called to use to build the common good and make our own days glad. We come with praise and thanks for all that is our life. Should we give it a try? Here we go. A one, two, three, four. For all that is our life, we sing our thanks and praise. For all life is a gift, which we are called to use, to build the common good and make our own days glad. We come with praise and thanks for all that is, okay, again, for all that is our life, we sing our thanks and praise. For all life is a gift, which we are called to use, to build the common good and make our own days glad. We come with praise and thanks for all that is our life. All right, you got it. So now, the rest of folks, we're gonna do, oh, we give thanks, oh, we give thanks for this day, for this day, at the same time. All right, you're gonna need to stand on your feet for us to have a shot at this, I think. So, 
Up we go. Are we grateful out there? Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. All right. Um, normally, I think it's like good to have two sections, but it seems like our for all that is our lifers, we're all in the middle. So, because it's tricky to navigate with COVID, we'll just try and stick with that. All right. So maybe the thing, the thing to do is to get the for all that is our lifers going, and then you're just gonna keep rolling, okay? Um, so we'll do a round all together, the for all that is our life, and then the thanks people join me. Ba 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 ba. Here we go. For all that is our life, we sing our thanks and praise. For all life is a gift, which we are called to use to build a common good and make our own days glad. We come with praise and thanks for all that. Oh, we give thanks for this day. We're gathered here and far away. For life we share with love and share. We give you thanks for this day. Keep it going. Oh, we give thanks for this day. Gathered here, gathered far away. For time we share with love and care. Oh, we give thanks for this day. All right, I think we did it. We, I got, I got to give everybody props to that. So, let's just take a quick moment now that we're warmed up. Um, if you've got something on your heart that you want to share your thanks for with this community. We're gonna open up uh, that mic there. Um, to, I actually don't, don't see any reason if you feel like using this one, why you couldn't. Um, and, uh, and just and, and come and share it. We're gonna take a little time uh, to, to hear if you got some joys. John Kirby Felber, one of the greatest storytellers I've ever known. His mind could travel through time and place so easy that I was in the present one moment and in the 50s the next. But the question is, Grandad, what stories haven't you told? and acknowledge that I have a new grand nephew. Right. Our um, one and only grandson, <laughs> Caleb, who was born in January, is six and a half months, and early on in all of this, we um, they just lived two hours south of here in Paulet, and we decided our bubble included him, and um, and we just love getting pictures of him, and we love visiting him, and he's got two new teeth now, and he's got uh, to the point where he's stealing mom's sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give thanks for the men in my life that, um, especially in this COVID era, that I, I have a sweet, loving touch relationship with. Lots of hugs, lots of pats and just care that's expressed through touch, which um, I haven't had at most times in my life and I think is a really, really sweet thing to share with brothers. I want to give thanks for uh, the beauty of the world that we live in. Uh, just every evening and then on hikes that I've been on, just 
we live in a miraculous place, and uh, I just hope that we don't ever take that for granted. I could echo what you say, and I'm really grateful for the firefighters who are keeping my family in California. Um, I'm thankful for the life of Clem Holden, who died recently, this weekend. Um, he was one of the old goats up at Bolton, and he was a solid member of this community, and I'm grateful also for Sylvia, and she seems to be hanging in there, so. For all those joys we didn't speak, let's just say together one more time, we give thanks. Yeah. We give thanks. My favorite verse of um, For All That Is Our Life um, is actually that verse that says, for, for sorrows we must bear, for failures, pain, and loss, for each new thing we learn, for fearful hours that pass. We come with praise and thanks for all that is in our life. It's such a powerful message of saying yes to everything. Um, this is this is the deal. This is how we get to experience life. Um, and of course, we know that um, sorrows uh, that we share are are in a, a gift in a sense. And one of the ways that um, I've heard that beautifully articulated, you may have heard as well, is is the lines in Naomi, Naomi Shihab Nye's poem, Kindness, um, where in her last stanza she says, Before you know kindness as the deepest thing inside, you must know sorrow as the other deepest thing. You must wake up with sorrow. You must speak to it till your voice catches the thread of all sorrows and you see the size of the cloth. Then, it is only kindness that makes sense anymore. So, um, we also want to hold that space here tonight for any sorrows that can be a gift that we can share together in the sharing. Um, can help tenderize our hearts in the way we need them to be. Uh, so, we'll edit it out if you're new here. Uh, we, we don't include this part in the portion that we post on YouTube, um, but do want to open this space. And we've developed the tradition of saying after each share, we're walking with you, um, which is a, a nod to a beautiful song um, which James might play in the background. Uh, walking with you, walking with you is my prayer. It's a hard thing to transition to sharing the heavy things in, in a, a setting like this in just a brief way. Uh, we know that we're all carrying things. Um, but it also does seem that tonight, um, maybe on many of our hearts anew, after the death of another black man in Louisiana and the shooting, whose name is Trayford Pellerin, and the shooting of Jacob Blake in Kenosha, Wisconsin, just a little north of Chicago. Uh, and then I gather two deaths of protesters in Kenosha, Wisconsin, shot by police. Um, no, not shot by police, shot. Okay, white supremacists. Good to get that clear. Um, but yeah, our hearts are heavy, um, anew, and um, I wanted to actually um, in invite us to go, um, go in that direction tonight, to take time to um, 
allow ourselves to really hold that and to ask the question, how, how could anyone do this? Um, I was thinking about the beautiful song that we sing of how could anyone ever tell you you were anything less than beautiful as I was thinking about this. And as I've been reflecting, some of you may have had a chance to tune in on Sunday and, and know this, you know, as I've been reflecting in my own self, how am I participating? Um, I realized the power in this song is that it's not just a rhetorical question. How could anyone ever tell you you were anything less than beautiful? How could anyone ever tell you you were less than whole? It's, it's a question we have to really ask ourselves and live with. It's a question that can continue to transform each of us our whole lives um, in this world in which we know that we are actually, we believe that we are what we need to be at our heart. How could this happen? So I wanted to uh, hold space tonight and um, share that song. Um, if you haven't heard it, um, James and I actually made a recording, so maybe I can play that, and then we can hum it together. And I wanted to to light a candle for particularly for these recent deaths and honor, as we've honored their names, honored their their lives. So maybe I'll light the candle first. to just hold some silence together. were to sum up what was on my heart this last Sunday, you know, with this song, um, it was that if we really want to build uh, the world in which singing that song isn't necessary, um, we got to keep singing it to ourselves as well, as much as possible, because so often I'm the one who tells me I'm less than beautiful. 
and I'm less than whole. Um, and it's something in that that makes me see that in others as well. Um, so I wanted to invite us uh, in this um, time of renewal uh, to really take the chance here to come home to however you each can see that the, the, the truth of your goodness and the truth of your uniqueness and the gift that you each are. Um, I believe that that's part of what gets buried under all of the things that we take on to try and stay safe and including in the way we see other people as, as less safe and the way we see ourselves. Uh, and so um, take some time to really, in this next song in which we're going to hum Return Again, the Jewish, another Jew, lovely Jewish hymn, Return, Return to the Home of Your Soul, to, to return to that knowing in yourself. Return to who you are. Return to what you are. Return to where you are, born and reborn again. Knowing that's the source of renewal, right here, as close to you as you could possibly get. That's my invitation. And um, after we hum it um, a little, we are going to um, actually do a candle lighting. And I think whenever we light a candle, there's an opportunity. Um, so tonight, just want to invite you to really take that opportunity. You know, maybe you say to yourself, I'm home, you know, I'm enough. Whatever it, it will be that helps you connect. Um, and we'll all see your light shining as, as your candle takes flame. Uh, so we'll, we'll do it with care for social distancing. Um, not lining up, but I know you all would do that naturally, but just to say that. But, um, yeah, I, did we record this song as well? I think we did. So we'll start off that way. And then um, I think someone's uniqueness is shining. <laughs> You're home. We see you. We're grateful. Um, so here's Return Again. If you know it already, feel free to join in humming. Otherwise, you'll catch on, I'm sure.
realize then you need to bring it down inside the cup to keep it lit. Take a moment to take in the, the light, each other's light. These closing words come from Greg Kimura in his poem, Cargo. You enter life, a ship laden with meaning, purpose and gifts sent to be delivered to a hungry world and as much as the world needs your cargo you need to give it away everything depends on this but the world forgets its needs and you forget your mission and the ancestral maps used to guide you have become faded scrawls on the parchment of dead pharaohs the cargo weighs you heavy the longer it is held, and spoilage becomes a risk. The ship sputters from port, port to port, and at each you ask, is this the way? But the way cannot be found without knowing the cargo. And the cargo cannot be known without recognizing there is a way, and it is simply this. You have gifts. You are a gift. The world needs your gifts. You must deliver them. The world may not know it is starving, but the hungry know, and they will find you when you discover your cargo and start to give it away. So let us all extinguish our mini chalices together uh, with the chalice language. words. Maybe somebody could also come up and blow out the chalice so I can... Stay on the mic. Okay. We extinguish this chalice flame. The light of truth. The warmth of community. Or the fire of commitment. These we carry with our hearts and share with the world until we are together again. Go share your light. So good to be together. Thanks again for coming.